So hey guys, welcome to another review. And today we're doing an NX default gun because somebody gave me this gun. And the gun is the Femme SAF. I don't know if I'm saying it correctly. Now I do I care. And the guy that gifted me was Sir Seven and Life. And I'm just going to call him Seven Life because his name is really it's quite epic if you think like the 7 is a V but then turned around but still this guy has his own YouTube channel and the YouTube channel is in the description below he makes good good videos he hosts good events and he's a really nice player nice guy but now let's go on with the stats so the Femme SEF the Femme SEF has 36 damage 88 portability 90 rate of fire 77 accuracy and 63 recoil has burst and automatic firing modes and burst is quite rare for a submachine gun it also features a 30 over 90 default magazine and you can customize this weapon by putting a suppressor or a scope on it and you cannot put an extended magazine on it which you can do in real life but not in game and this gun is an NX default gun which just costs 25k NX for permanent As you can see this weapon has a lot of recoil but it stays in one big blur and if you can see like the crosshair stays quite small and you can easily keep the recoil at minimum by just holding your mouse down and you can spray from quite a long distance. Uh, now for its stats, 36 damage is a slightly above average for a submachine gun. The average for a submachine gun is on 35 34, 33, so it's slightly above that. It's still a solid 4 hit kill. So, uh, not a solid 4, it's a 4 to 5 hit kill, and it's approximately a uh, 6 7 hit kill at long ranges. Like any submachine gun, it's meant for close quarter combat, so it has a lot of damage drop at long range. 88 portability is way above the average. The average portability for a submachine gun is about 75, and with 88, this gun is really fast, and you can just pray and run rush to enemy bases. 90 rate of fire. 90 rate of fire is also above average. The average is 80 or 85. If you look at 90, 90 rate of fire means that you can easily kill people in just a matter of a second. By spraying you shoot around so many bullets per second which is really fast. 77 accuracy. This weapon is quite similar to the T2 although it has less accuracy and a strange recoil pattern which makes it quite hard to use at long ranges but accuracy 77 is quite low for a gun on average but for a submachine gun it's still quite high since the average is 67 but all three MP5A4, P90TR and the UMP have 67 accuracy and the Femme SAF has 77, which is 10 more and is quite high, but it's still hard to use for long ranges. Six, and the Femme SAF has also also has 30, 63 recoil. Oh my god. Um, 63 recoil is quite average. It's the same as the UMP and the MP5A4. This recoil is easy, but the Femme has a quite strange recoil pattern, which makes it difficult to use for longer range but if you can just just tap fire or if you have played with this gun for a lot for a while you'll be able to handle its recoil just fine that's no problem and I would not recommend you to use a suppressor on this weapon because the suppressor makes the damage drop even bigger and the sound is worse with a suppressor this gun is good on its own it doesn't need a suppressor for decreased recoil whatsoever and as you can see I did not play with a scope since I found it unnecessary to put a scope on a submachine gun since you're only playing at close quarter combat and for just long range tap firing yeah for, yeah, just tap firing like I said but now like always I'm going to end this review off with a big bang that means the highest accolade I got with this weapon I hope you guys enjoyed this review bye